In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to tag your rushes in Final Cut Pro 10. So if you've got a project with a lot of footage and you're struggling to find what you're looking for, tagging is a really powerful tool. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how you do it. So um, I've got some clips up here um, and at the moment they actually do have tags on them. So if I click on this little triangle by the video, you can see that there is a use tag. Now that is automatically added by Final Cut if your video is being used in the project you're looking at. And you can see that it's selected just the range of that clip that's actually being used here. So if I come to the top, I can actually filter and show only clips that are unused. And that will include sections of clips that are unused. So that's something that you get for free. But what are some of the other ways of um, adding tags? So one way is to right click on your event here and create a new keyword collection. So tags are called keywords in Final Cut Pro 10. So uh, I'm gonna tag this one with land landscape. And I'm just gonna go through my footage and see which one of them have landscapes in them. So not this one, this one does. Um, this one does, this one does, and this one does. So now if I click on my collection here, you can see that um, I've just got just those clips. So that's one way of doing it. Another thing to know is that you don't just have to do whole clips. So I'm going to create another keyword collection, and I'm going to call it Airtime. So in this clip, I just want to show anything where these two bikes aren't on the ground. So I'm going to click here, drag to there, and I've got this range selected. And if I just click and drag that to airtime, you can see if I come to the collection, I've got just that section of the clip highlighted. And I can drag that in and just that section of the clip is there. So um, you can sort of see how this can get powerful. You can add, uh, create folders in here. So um, if you've got lots of different clips, you know, uh, different types of keywords. So sometimes if you're doing, um, say, interviews, you might want to tag every interview with a specific person and then make a, make a folder called, uh, I don't know, people and then you can click on the different ones. So there's lots of options for organizing your video. Um, there's also um, another way of adding keywords. So um, there's the keyword editor here. And the way you get that is uh, command K, brings up the keyword editor. And um, this uh, allows you to add keywords to your clips the other way around. So I could create a entirely new keyword here. So I create a keyword called stunts and you can see it's automatically created a keyword collection and tagged the whole clip with it. Um, if I come to this clip um, I can select the range here and do the same thing and say red car and you can see it's created the keyword collection and I've just got that bit of the clip selected. And the other thing that's really cool is that you have these slots here um, of keywords that you've recently used. So for example, I've got B-roll, pieces to camera, interview, group shot, intro, VT, story, story, story. These are just some shortcuts to get you going. And you can use these uh, using the keywords it says. So if I want to add B-roll there, I can um, add that using uh, control one, or I can even just click on that piece to camera so you can actually change these to whatever you want. You can even add sets of them. So if you want a shortcut to add um, B-roll and VT, you can do that. And there you go. So keywords are a really powerful tool. Um, I really recommend that you start using them, especially if you're working on bigger projects. Uh, they will be very helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe.